All right, guys, I'm back with uh, more detailed information on uh, visually representing how to hook up a tack to a 2000, uh, 53, 4853, whatever, from a Tahoe uh, using the factory tack signal to an old school Sun Tac 2. Um, <laughs> note to self. I got a little aggravated last night and didn't finish the project because I was convinced that I had either messed up a wire or knocked a wire loose or blew a fuse or something because my I have a two gauge cluster below the like where the stereo is on the dash and then I'm I thought incorrectly and there again don't think you know something check everything that's my uh, motto for the day because I truly felt like I knew you know what I mean like you have confidence that this is the way it was and I'm gonna go with it but um, I'm con I'm always telling people who are running into problems don't trust what you think only trust what you know and double and triple check it okay so the situation I ran into was I didn't think I was getting any power to my gauges under the dash because I thought whenever I powered up my ignition, you know, turned my ignition on, the uh, gauges lit up with only when I turned on my headlights. So here's a, another note to self. During the daytime, if the light's already on, it's not going to get any brighter when you turn your headlights on. So you're not going to notice any kind of an illumination change in what's going on. So luckily, as I started, you know, following my own advice and double and triple checking everything, and I finally found my stupid uh, circuit tester or just light up tester that I knew I had, but I couldn't find since the move, then I could start back checking all my power sources and see, you know, Am I losing power somewhere in the system? Did I have a crimp that didn't, you know, make good contact? What's what's going on here? Long story short, there wasn't anything wrong with it. I just couldn't tell the difference between the light already being on and then my dash lights coming on. So I'm an idiot. I apologize. I also apologize for the crew. I'm not going to make any comments that are working on Memorial Day building a house across the street. I don't know, maybe not every country has the same reverence for Memorial Day. It's just aggravating. But, see if you guys can see me slide in here real quick. Try not to kill the camera. But, I finally found my stupid tester that I couldn't find anywhere yesterday. I was so aggravated. I almost used my 25% off Harbor Freight coupon to go buy another one, even though I knew I had it. But, <clears throat> let me get these out where you can see it. Out of your tack, you have a red 12 volt ignition source. You have a white. That's just your light. That All that does is illuminate, turn on the light inside the tack. Then you have a black which is your ground. And then you have a green wire. It's kind of hard to see because I've got it spliced into the factory tack signal. But you got a light green wire, black, white, and red. So basically what I've done is I've run the black ground wire over here to a main ground under this dash. I have run the white wire over to my two gauge cluster that's underneath the dash right here. Now what I've done is I've spliced together the power lead, the main 12 volt ignition source for the tack, and the wire that I'm using to feed my lights, if that makes any sense. So what I'm doing is running both of these into this I have no clue what this originally controlled in this car but the pink wire or this terminal 
is a 12 volt, 12 volt ignition powered source. So basically what I'm gonna do is I just teed in my lights and my main power to this, it's hard to do my goofy hand. I'm not blocking the camera too bad. You just plug that in. Ah. So now I've got power to my, I got power that goes over to my gauges. And I've got power that goes to my tack, both of which come on with the key. I wish I'd have remembered that yesterday because that was a frustrating situation thinking that you broke something. So now all I have to do is to uh, complete the install by just mounting my tack where I want it, which is gonna be right here on the column, not centered, because there is a command center right here in the center of this vehicle that shows you your blinkers, high beam indicator, your brake light indicator, and if it had an engine light, that's where it would come on. I like to be able to see when I have my blinkers on I like to know they're blinking. Um, high beam indicator, that's kind of important when you're cruising down the highway and you're trying not to you know, blind people. But I wanted to show you guys something because it was absolutely hilarious to me. I don't know if you guys will enjoy it near as bad, but I'll see if I can jump out and grab the camera instead of trying to make everybody sick here. Uh, I actually originally wanted to mount my tack inside the dash. Let me get a hold of this thing. I wanted to mount my tack inside the dash where my factory speedometer used to be, but it just wouldn't work. The size of the tack wouldn't work with the chrome bezel. And when you take the bezel off, the stupid glass falls out. So poop can that idea. But here's the funny thing. Does anybody notice the lid from a quick trip cup blocking that hole? That's hilarious. I literally was searching my garage for anything I could find to try to black out where the speedometer used to be because it looks like poop. And literally, at the last second when I was getting ready to just give up and say, okay, forget it, and just put it back together, I came across that black lid from a quick trip. I think it's like the big hue plastic cup or whatever. I just threw that thing in there and was like, okay, we're running it. But once you get the tack installed and it sits in front of that gauge hole, you don't even notice the straw hole. Let's see if you guys notice the straw hole there. It would have been prettier if it was a brand new unused cup, but it's in there. I'm running it. so. Just in case you guys weren't aware, these old school tacks set on four cylinder will work perfectly with the uh, tack lead straight out of your computer on the LS swap. So anyway, I don't want to keep making anybody dizzy or making anybody sick because when I'm freehanding stuff, I'm not very steady anymore and that stuff bugs me. So again, I apologize for the... Uh, diligent crew working on the house across the street with the air air guns and different equipment going on in the background because that's annoying and i pre i apologize for having a freehand part of this video hopefully it's not too shaky i hope you guys are having a good memorial day but i wanted to just give a little bit better vis visual representation of the wiring the hookups and the settings on the tack to make it work with the ls so Man, I appreciate you guys watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And be safe. We'll see you, see you after the holiday.